All righty then, peeps. What's up? My name's Seb. This is the Cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam. Boom. I haven't got any hands. I've got this arm full of bananas. This arm full of camera and a belt. And we're walking. Excuse the wobbliness. We're walking down Nick's driveway. Sun Warrior HQ. Wobbly, 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 wobbly. Why didn't I see this yesterday? We were just right here. I didn't feel like I didn't even notice it. Who? Ah. Woo! <laughs> I got my keyboard. I'm just going everywhere with this now. How cool is this? Woo! All right, So I'm on the sofa bed tonight. Sofa beds. That one. That one. Take your pick. I've got power. That's what we need. As long as I've got power, I can do some work on the laptop. Yes, we have power. We have power. Cool to have the ocean right there. I want to check out this rope. What's this rope about? Ah, God. more difficult than it appears. Yeah, I don't want to get rope burned. This is the memory those are all things even things where it's challenging to like climb often the camera isn't on because I, those are the magic moments I know, that's going to attract your audience but it's difficult to film because I'm trying to stay alive I know I know <laughs> so you're doing it real and what a lot of these big YouTubers it's all planned yeah to get there, so it's all planned already and they know kind of what's going to be the shock value to yeah. get their audience like whoa I gotta watch this stuff right. you gotta let them know who you are very quickly you're minimalistic and you told me you're just going out there running and you run all over the world Mm. And you got this little thing, and I go, where do you sleep? And I go, I find two poles or two trees. <laughs> I found, like, this guy is hardcore. <laughs> I, want, I want to know more. Right. And I'm just thinking, I don't know if I can be able to do that. I'm kind of a wuss with <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm going, this guy's got a big, you know what. So, but if you had kind of, if you could relate that message along with some clips of your adventure yeah. to the people you're trying to reach, because I think it's a great adventure. It's just, okay, how can we make your tour interesting mm -hmm. for the viewers? So that's kind Yeah, of I mean, meeting meeting key characters along the way is definitely the one. Yeah. I think I got thrown off when this whole COVID thing happened because I was like, not now. I've been planning this run for years. Like, I'm finally got going. And now, basically, the message I was hearing, because I don't watch any TV stuff, but what I'm hearing through the grapevine is everyone's got to go home. And I'm like, what do you mean go home? I'm just living in my hammock. What like, have you ran so far? I've started down here. That's my neck of the woods. I'm originally, I lived a big chunk of my life in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, right. So that I know Miami. First... I, I, in your one clip you showed me, I'm very familiar with that beach. Right yeah. There. So the first stop so... was Fort Lauderdale. That was like 25 miles or something. Yes. And then I continued to go across. I went over to Tampa and back. Just for the hell of it. And you said you went across the Everglades. Met... Everglades are hardcore. That's where the alligator is. Yeah. yeah. Green swamps. That's where the Duke Squad guys were on the Tampa side. That's why I went over there. I don't feel like an email or a message is going to get through. So I went in person, met them in person, and then they were like, oh, come over to my house. That made all the difference. So then I've gone up, joined the Appalachian Trail, and this is what I was about to say. I was going to go to New York, but I... I turned the corner early because everybody's saying, don't go to New York, oh, you know, the virus. <laughs> so I turned to join this south you know, part of the trail and went all the way across. But the ones that I want to go visit on my list are people I genuinely watch, that I, yeah. you know, like I consider them, like I know them through the videos. Now, if you were going to Utah, say we start working together and mm -hmm. we start posting your adventures. Yeah. You know, you come into the Sun Warrior headquarters and all the, awesome. you know, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. You hear that, guys? If you see this, maybe you can save that part for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I can just see this whole, like, where is he going next? Yeah. And who is he trying to meet? Right. But, but it, it, it's like a reality show, the way I exactly. look at it. I like to see you have, like, a million viewers. Right. Before we start going to a different country? 
Yeah, and there's I'm a lot of people out there that are building audiences, and they probably love what you're doing, but we got to get some kind of clips or some kind of a teaser where they go, I like this guy. Like, I wanted to meet you after I seen some of your clips. Yeah, come on over. Yeah. Because I said, this is, this is cool. Yeah. But then you got all these other cast of characters out there on the internet that you exchange. That's how these guys grow. Yeah. You exchange each other's audiences. And you're both. It's a win-win situation. Mm. That's a great synergy. But you need somebody. I know you're running. It's hard for you to do everything. You can't do everything. We built the team. Yeah. So, we, you know, one guy can't do it all. So right. we just kept developing and getting people in the right positions. You know, yeah. so that might be reaching out to you eventually. Yeah. Instead oh, of you yeah, trying no. to look for them. Oh, I imagine. But how you start is get the, mo yeah. it's called the getting the momentum going. Hmm. So, those well, are just some thoughts. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> I want to see a big audience for you because I think it's so cool what you're doing. Yeah. I know very few people in the world are going to be sleeping in trees and drink. You don't even have water. I There'll it. be water ahead. I know. That's what I love about <laughs> the thing. There's water ahead. That's cool. There's always water. There's only one guy where I've gone up to a house and I've been like, because eh, 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 in the beginning I felt like I should knock. And then I felt like <laughs> I'm disturbing people. Like imagine you're watching TV and there's a knock, knock, knock. You think, who's that? You know, who's no one often comes to the door. And they're like, hello? And then I'm just stood there going, hi, can I get water from this tap right here? Like, <laughs> and they're kind of almost annoyed, like, yeah, just take the water. <coughs> so I've, I've stopped knocking, and I would just go up to houses and be like... Eh, I can see that as even away. an episode. Yeah. <laughs> hi. Sure. I just wanted to have a drink of water. Florida, you're going to get eaten by alligators, and then North Carolina, then it's bears, and then... Like, everywhere I went, I got across to Tennessee, and they're like, don't sleep in a barn, the farmer's going to shoot you. Like, no matter where I go, what state, it's going to be rattlesnakes, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. Like, something's going to kill me everywhere. I'm always warned that something's going to kill me. Uh, in this yeah. trailer, before I even see it, did you have the guy looking at you, grabbing the water? Right, no. Did you have the alligator tail, and you're looking scared? No. See, this is um, things I'm thinking in my head. Yeah. Like, I could see so much potential. Mm. Um... But then we got it like, okay, how do we, uh, it's like I said, one man, you're a one man show. It's hard to, you know, let's, when somebody sees your potential and they go, you might even want to throw a thing out there to some go getter that he can see, Hey, I'll, let me do that for you. Let me line it up. And what the Duke work. squad guys mentioned is you need a PR person. And I'm like, yeah, so I need to hire someone. And that's why I always think hire them for the t-shirt, hire them for the website, hire them to do the emailing. So when he mentioned a PR person, I'm like, well, I have to hire someone? And he said, no, there might be a PR company who'll do it for free because they want to be associated with this cool thing, the sun warrior running around Forrest Gump guy. Yeah, I right. see the potential. Yeah. So how do we find that PR person? <laughs> that's what I always wonder. Like, where are they? It's how having that magic clip. And then they'll, they'll that's the whole, right. I'm telling you, you need, yeah, yeah. that's why we're doing this so I can show my guys. Yeah. And maybe they can wrap their brains around something and mm -hmm. kind of, and but one thing will lead to another. It's like, like I told you, it's like momentum. It's like a snowball running downhill. Things start to gather. It's called momentum. I hit him whack the back of his knees with the cane. Yeah, it's coming Are somewhere. Really? I, I think it might be here somewhere. I, I'm trying to think where it is. I, kept, I love that I had scene. to get him to whack me so many times because he was being really gentle about it. And I'm like, it doesn't look right on camera when you kind of pretend to hit someone in the leg. Spoof parody bits. Yes. The, I don't know what to call them, the, the angry neighbor kind of bits. Yes. Um, the struggle bits. Struggling. Maybe some act of kindness. Just oh, some yeah. Normal, some, real, kindness. some real stuff. Along with yeah, the no, I'm just trying to remember like how many categories, because it's very easy when I go through the edit, I can be like, okay, that's that category, that's that category. So we've got four different categories of stuff. I just want awesome. tickets to your premiere, that's all, man. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be cool, man. Yeah. No, it's great to... You might even use part of this clip talking about... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, this is the... Um, this is why I wanted to... Like, let's get the camera. Yeah. It's the mastermind, behind the scenes. Like, once this movie is a movie, how cool would it be to watch this? Where we were just talking about it. Exactly. So you've peeled the sweet potato. I cooked the hell out of this. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Splatted. Are you game for some cinnamon and nutmeg? Yeah. And, and some crushed walnuts on there. Yeah. And then you tell me what you think. Okay. Okay, this is organic cinnamon. 
longer you cook that, it gets so sweet. I put a little nutmeg in there. These are raw walnuts. There's crunching in there. And mix the cinnamon and nutmeg. And tell me if you like something like that. This is after I have my workout. One of my yeah. I have my protein shake, and this is one of my meals. Yeah, sweet potato is real good for gains, right? Completely different to white potato. Yeah, check your beta carotene. Is this better? This is a good bodybuilding for me. I, after my workout, I want the carbs. And then I want the protein because I'm breaking down muscle if I'm at the gym. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and walnut. And cook the hell. I cooked that like 425 for about two hours. The, the longer I cook it, this gets soft. And I don't know if you like it or not, but it's just... Uh... <laughs> it's weird because you don't expect the cinnamon. Like... The cinnamon, okay, the cinnamon's got chrome. It makes it more like a dessert now. It does, and the cinnamon... Has chromium, it has stuff in there, it doesn't raise your blood sugar up so high. Mm. So you don't have this big insulin spike. Because there's two types of cinnamon there's, there's the Ceylon and yeah, the, yeah. the other one. Yeah. You want the Ceylon type, right? Okay. Pumpkin pie. Love it. That's kind of my pumpkin pie. We all all the sugar, all the bullshit in my, um, my version of hash browns is I grate the sweet potato raw, mm -hmm. mix some peanut butter with it so it sticks. Yeah. And then put it in the pan, cook it. Don't have to cook it much, but it's like hash brown. Nice. Have the beans <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. Someone was saying to me that they mix your summary of protein with bananas and oats, and then they cook it. Yeah, yeah, like it. And it's high protein pancakes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tend to only eat really one big meal a day, or maybe two. Right, right, right. But it's a, a short eating window. They're all kind of intermittent fasting almost. Not on purpose, but just because I don't often have a choice. I've got to run to the next town. So when I do eat, I pack it in. So you're getting your calories and what you basically... I'm getting like unlimited make... calories, but in a short space of time, like a feasting banquet. And then I'm going to run until like 4 p.m. tomorrow and not eat anything till 4 p.m. That's pretty good for... Uh, get the autophagy going on. If you're not eating nothing and you're doing all that work, you're really anti-aging there. Mm -hmm. So it's a good, that's a good thing. The autophagy. Yeah. Is that what you just said? Not the, yep. Good morning everybody! It's sunny finally. It's been a lot of rain here and uh, I'm happy to get some sun and I haven't really gone down to the beach so I'm going to investigate. Apparently there's like a trail that runs all along the beach and uh, I can go either direction. Avery's here. Hey! This is the Sun Warrior He's got amazing energy, this guy. He started out here like pulling weeds. <laughs> what was it you said like three years ago? Yeah, it's like three years helped me get the place in shape. And now he's still here. Yeah, how's it going, everyone? <laughs> right. yeah. I got something I want to give to you. Oh, yeah? Um, for your journey. It's called Kukia Imauna. There's right. a big um, protest up on the mountain here. Yeah. Um, It's kind of like the... University of Hawaii kind of like um, mismanaged the mountain and we're trying to s get things straightened out up there, you right. know, so so everyone's happy. And this is the movement, this is the sticker here. and Like a native Hawaiian thing? Yeah. Oh, it's a sticker? It's a sticker, you oh, can okay. pull it off. And I got a little something oh, for your money journey. There. Look at so that. So you can get some, oh, man, some you food on the that. way, bro. Oh, let's have a hug. Thank All right, you, man. man. What a go, legend. Go. Who would Cool. The garden is giving me money now. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I'll stick this somewhere like different. In another country, it would oh, be really? great. Different yeah, country? Expose it, get it yeah, yeah, going, yeah. man, and take a video of it, man. That'll be cool. I'll hang on to that sticker and then we'll post it somewhere in a. All right. Somewhere around when I've run halfway yeah. around the world. Yeah. Or if you want, you take it back home when you're done with your journey. Yeah. Just show, hey, this is a. Souvenir I got in Hawaii. Yeah, I, I like that idea. It, okay. It, we'll make a to be continued. Yeah, to be video. continued, everyone. Aloha. Awesome. Enjoy the run, Sam. All right. All right, cool. <laughs> what a legend. That's Avery. And uh, he's the kindest Hawaiian gardener guy you could ever meet. Well, he's gardener construction, like he does all kinds of stuff. He's not just gardener, he does, he's basically uh, handles all of this property. I just love the team that Nick's built. Nick talks about how 
it's about getting the right people together, you know. He hired lots of different people to help at the property initially, but then the one guy he really kept was Avery because he's got this passion and this excitement to be here. Like, you don't want people who are just, you know, trying to get paid their hourly wage and that's it, and they're just clock watching and hating every minute of it. Avery told me about this, so I want to check it out. I haven't got my belt on, I'm just like out playing around really. It's early in the morning. Ooh, this looks pretty. Wow, how cool is this? I kind of can't believe I didn't come down here sooner. I guess I didn't really realize what it is. I could hang my hammock in here. <laughs> Look at the little coconut. What's up, little coconut? Starting a tree right there. Woo! Whoop! Hey! Whoa! Cool! It's a little bridge. Whoop! Wow! I had no idea this was here. Leave me now, the moment, don't get all done, touch the people, cause you can't be free. Touch the people, love now, create, inspire, by doing what you love, this. This is just an illusion from the past, I remember this, I remember this in memory. Leave and live in a mystery, and find the purpose. like the end of the road. that time of day again. Let's do a little scoopy scoopy of the greens. Oh yeah. I feel like there's no point to limit it, right? I'm gonna have a double scoop. Two scoops. And then in here, this is uh, my usual mix of medicinal stuff. A bit of turmeric. Oh, glutamine, tribulus, nettle root. Quite like how the actual cap has the logo. See that? Glimmering in the light. It's a nice little touch. It actually makes it easier to stomach the nasty turmeric, like turmeric, MSM, you know, ginger. That's another thing I put in there. It's not going to taste good. But the minty greens actually kind of disguise it a little bit. You'll see here I've got my keyboard, my little laptop, hard drive. Getting stuff done in the office. I did a workout, so that's why I'm like this. 
pumped up. <laughs> and uh, having a little, little bit of greens before I get to the main meal. <clears throat> it's cool, right? I like that. I like the look of that one. Just my style. Cut the sleeves off. Right, let's do some work. I wasn't really doing work. I was just pretending to push the keys. The laptop's not even on. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom. This is the Seb cam. Oh, what a lovely bunch of coconuts. Da -na 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 -na. Da 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 Yeah! I got my hammock here drying in the sun. I sprayed it with Promethrin, which is a bug proof, mosquito proofer. It's just out here drying. The problem with mosquitoes in a tropical environment in a hammock is you're laying in the hammock and it's so thin, they just bite me in the butt. So I have to spray it. I spray the outside. I never spray the inside. Promethrin is not good for the skin, very toxic. I'm trying to drink this coconut without it all dribbling down my face. Alrighty then, peeps. This is where I've been hiding out. Me and my keyboard and my cacao for later. Chopping coconuts and just got my chin on the desk like this and I'm just scrolling through videos every single video I've made running to just look for shots where I'm running <laughs> and my beard is growing So I'm just skipping through like this, looking for, is there a shot where the camera is straight in front of me, good clean shot on my face, preferably not talking too much, so my mouth's not moving. By doing what you love, please. here from Miami. Alright, love ya. My name's Seb, this is the camp. Boom, this is the camp. Boom. This, this is an adventure. So this has taken days. Usually it take me a day to edit a vlog. Maybe I could do a couple in a day. But looking for shots through every single vlog has taken me days. That's why you haven't seen much vlogs, but I think the extra effort's worth it. It's not like I'm going to do this often. I'm currently summarizing the whole year. One vlog at a time. I'm in an event. <laughs> Dustin and cheesy beans and rice. <laughs> Got it. We're going to use that one. One vlog at a time, one step at a time. I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing and why it's taking so long. This sucker's electrical, but I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! 
tonight. Take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fit dude, I'm 77 years old. I don't always dress like a frog. And if you came yesterday and took part, I forgot to tell you to stop running on the spot. I'm so sorry, you can stop now.